is validation important for everyone? It is. We all, half of us, I mean, why should I even lie? All of us live for society. Beauty standards, beauty, 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 products, beauty. You know the beauty business? Those people get so much money. Make a cream, the radiance cream. Make a cream, the fairness cream. Make a cream, the radiant glow cream. <laughs> Just have the both of them and becomes a cream. Make radiance, glow, that is stuff that you're supposed to feel. How do you feel? And the fact I realize, beauty, when someone says I'm beautiful, they look at my face, right? You know when I feel beautiful? It's when I feel beautiful. What the other person thinks about you doesn't matter because when you feel beautiful, you're confident, you seize your opportunities, you take what you want, you know your head's in the game when you feel happy. And when you feel beautiful, when you feel gorgeous, you know, and you have that confidence, you have that confidence boost that lets you achieve or think you are on top of the world no matter what. You can hold your head up high and walk across a room with all eyes looking at you and not be conscious about tripping because you feel beautiful. You perceive it. Not because people think it. Not because you think it. Because you feel it. Now how do these people judge us? How do we ourselves judge us? All depends on beauty standards. Now if these beauty standards are so standardized based on stuff that are crazy. I mean, hey, everyone is unique. What the f What the hell is a beauty standard? If I'm fat, it's a problem. If I'm thin, it's a problem. If I'm round, it's a problem. If I'm square, it's a problem. I mean, it's a problem why? Because there are standards. If those standards never existed, I'm beautiful, right? According to you guys. I mean, according to everyone who believes in those standards. If those standards were never even there out there, no one would judge me or no one would think, judge, me, uh, judge me according to their standards of beauty. Talk about Snow White. Talk about beauty. Talk about standards like being rich that makes you beautiful, for example, or the dress that makes you beautiful. Cinderella was not beautiful and not considered beautiful in that entire movie until she wore that dress. The fact that if a princess sings, she's beautiful. Hey, you know how many people are beautiful but don't sing? Eating disorder happens because of beauty standards. And I have even seen shows that have beauty pageants for kids. And that, I know that's a totally different topic, but where did those beauty pageant judges judge you from? Beauty standards. How do you look at somebody and tell them they're beautiful? <laughs> By the way, the look, definitely, but what do you base it on? Standards, right? It's so obvious. How do you stop this? You stop yourself, that's it. You can't stop everyone. No one can, I can. Me doing this right now is a sign of me trying to. And that's just it. What I really want to put out there is you are beautiful no matter what. You are beautiful because you're smart. You're beautiful if you cannot handle studies too. You are beautiful if you're fat. You are beautiful if you're thin. You are beautiful no matter what. And if you're someone who has fallen to the trap of beauty standards and have an eating disorder, you're still beautiful. You're not flawed. You're not someone who has lost their hope because you're still here. Change, it begins with you, not with the other person. But who am I kidding? At the end of the day, even I come back home, wash my face, and think I'm not that good looking because I base myself on standards. How do we stop this? That question still remains. I really hope you guys like this video. Like this video, subscribe and share. Have a great day. Until next time, stay blessed.